discussion with the Minister for Pension and, and, and Rural Development as well as with the Honourable Chief Minister to understand the vision behind the project. What I saw today is that um, what was on the PowerPoint yesterday actually exists in the field. And that is really important. There's a Badan here who actually knows what she's doing, uh, uh, has mentoring, has the technology to uh, actually deliver services more quickly. As you can see, I could print a birth certificate right then and there. It just needs to be signed and it is there. In the past took 30 days. These things are very, very important building blocks for a more responsive government. So I'm very happy to see also the transformative power of technology because it means people don't have to wait. And it means everything is transparent, as you could see on the screen. So I was very happy with what I saw. Sir, the, 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 the ISCB project is simultaneously implementing in Kerala and West Bengal. What is your impression? Have you done Kerala? Kerala between West Bengal and uh, Kerala. Kerala. So, what is so would we have um, uh, similar projects in Kerala, in Bihar, and in Karnataka? Yes. Um, insofar I understand, but this is the only one I've visited in the field, but from the reports I've read, the one in West Bengal is the most advanced. Um, it has a very wide coverage, 1,000 gram panchayats. The, res the initial results are very good, so one reason for me to come here is to see how we can achieve better results than the others. I know Karnataka is also quite okay, Kerala is quite okay, um, Bihar is just starting. Um, but this one is really very advanced. It has been going on for over three years, so it should be advanced, but really we're very satisfied with uh, the way the results are going. What is the extension plan? Uh, any, any more approaches will be included in future in this project in your Well, it's really important to understand that the World Bank alone can never cover the whole of India or the whole of West Bengal. So the discussion with the government would be to extend the same level of services and system to all the panchayats in West Bengal, but do that uh, either with um, government of West Bengal budget money or in a combination of World Bank support and West Bengal budget money, because we would not want to do it on our own. But eventually, the government will have to take over and keep the system running in the long term. But we definitely are committed to continuing our work on this so that it actually works, it becomes uh, routine, um, the systems uh, stay for the long term, and then slowly, slowly we could withdraw and it could be a system running on its own. That would be my vision. Thanks. What do you think about what culture of the well, I know, I know we're just into Durga Puja, Puja next week, so that's my one line on culture in West Bengal right now. Unfortunately, I'm coming too early, so I won't be able there to be there for the festival. I think otherwise, um, um, I, I don't know West Bengal so well, but I've been to Calcutta a, a few times, and I think it's a wonderfully laid-back city with a lot of character, where I just like to go and meet the people and enjoy myself. So I, what I think when I hear West Bengal is, and it's a place with very welcoming people who like to enjoy life, and that's a really great thing. Sir, what topic we have had a discussion with CM on the 18th, on, on the yesterday. What topic we have had a discussion with CM, Honorable CM, on yesterday? So first of all, we discussed this project and how it is going. The Honorable Minister was also there. That was a very good discussion. Then we talked about the work we're doing um, in, under, the, um, under our national project to clean up the Ganga River. So we discussed um, the Chief Minister's vision for the Ganga in West Bengal and in Calcutta in particular, because he has a very clear vision of a river that is clean, that is open to the people, that uh, is accessible by people, that people can enjoy, but also serves for inland water transport, which is economically very important. Um, we agree with that vision. Under the national project, we're already funding some activities in Calcutta itself. Uh, the Tolly Nara, for instance, uh, the, the study of the cleanup, eventually the cleanup. We also would like to work on the waterfront, because if you make this, the, the people use the river and enjoy it, it will be, be cleaner, it will be very good. So that discussion was also very good. Finally, we discussed what the government is doing um, to 
uh, cluster ULBs in larger co uh, corporations to uh, help face the challenge and realize the opportunity of urbanization in, um, in, in West Bengal, which is rapid as it is in other places in India. So we talked about a place like Howrah itself, where the, where the Chief Minister now has her office, to see how that could be possibly a model town for, for good development and, and as, well, as could other places in West Bengal, because we believe the urban agenda is very important. In short, uh, we had a discussion on the Chief Minister's vision and priorities for the state, which corresponds very well with the partnership strategy that the World Bank has for all of India. Oh yes, then very importantly we also discussed, um, as you know, the Prime Minister has set a goal of um, an open defecation free India by 2019. This is incredibly important because uh, the impact of that on health, nutrition and, um, and, and, and many aspects of life are, are really deep. The Chief Minister herself has a goal that is even more ambitious, 2017. Regardless of that, we've been asked by the Government of India to work on supporting the low-income states in India, including West Bengal, and achieving that goal. Shoma here will actually be leading that effort. So we discussed how we could set priorities, achieve rapid success in, uh, in West Bengal to show that it is actually possible to make entire blocks and entire districts open defecation free so that people start believing that this is not just some difficult goal but actually we can deal with this practice once and for all and the benefits of this will be absolutely incredible. Thank you. I'm just to update you on a new project. My state government has already sent a proposal to the government of India, Ministry of Finance, uh, for a five-year new project starting from 1617. That project will include 3,237 gram panchayats, including the 1,000 ones we are having now. That is going to the government of India, Ministry of Finance. We are awaiting the claims from them, then we will send that to the World Bank for final uh, discussion and uh, approval of the project. 